Come on, Sparky. Arr! 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 What's good, Sneakerheads? Back here with another one. This one, I thought before they dropped it was going to be easier to get. And then once they dropped, I realized that they weren't. <laughs> so I immediately, like the second that I took that L on the Sneakers app and, well, basically every uh, skate shop around before that. But once I got that L on the Sneakers app, I already had the page open on StockX. I copped these for like two twenty ish shipped. That's not bad at all. I mean, they're they shot up to like three hundred or something right after that. Now they're down to about two fifty, two forty. So I'm super hyped that I got them. It's crazy though because I ordered them through StockX and they came from Europe. Had no idea they did that, but they said, "Yeah, we do that now to kind of like balance out shipping and everything." So I'm like, all right, cool. But uh, the crazy thing with these are, like, you know, uh, Black Sheep is my local skate shop. Shout out Black Sheep. Guys are awesome. I was going to go up there, um, you know, wait in line if I had to, you know. Uh, but when I went by there two days before these dropped, there were people already waiting in line. And we had a crazy thunderstorm the next day and, like, all types of stuff. So those people were waiting in line uh, through all that. And, uh, you know, I know all the people up at Black Sheep, so I go talk to them after the drop and find out that, like, two fist fights broke out for these. And, like, they ended up just canceling the whole thing, and they posted them online and sold out within seconds. Like, even those people that were there didn't, weren't able to cop. So, you know, people were fighting over these. <laughs> That's crazy. So, yeah, without further ado, do there's a hint right there. Uh, which you already know because you saw the uh, thumbnail. Uh, because of what these are, I'm going to try to open them with a dog leash. So I wasn't lucky enough to get the dog leash that, you know, Black Sheep and a bunch of other skate shops gave away to like the first 10 people or something. I wasn't lucky enough to get one of those. I can't even find one to buy. Everybody that's trying to sell them are selling them with uh, the sneakers and everything else. So, and those are going for like 600 plus. So, probably never going to own that one. That was a lot easier than I thought. I'm just glad it worked, because this thing's not exactly very sharp. Okay, why is it not working on this one? There we go. Uh, just going to tear that screw. Alright, so put that there. Put that right down. Uh, you know, I hate when places ship shoes in boxes that are like the exact same size as the shoe box. It's such a pain in the butt. Alright, so we have the teal Nike SB box. Size 12. Alright. Whoa. Did you hear that? Um, kind of scared to see what comes out of this. A few moments later. All right. Get rid of the stickers. Wow. Wow. I am loving that. Take a look at that right there. You know, all my homies that cop these told me, like, even for the price I got them for, like, the materials are amazing. And, yeah, they are. So, if you are questioning copying these, uh, I highly recommend it. Because, you know, these, uh, these materials feel great. Like, they feel so good. These are some definite, like quality quality materials so now this is nike sb's uh 420 special release 
Uh, these are the Nike SB Dunk High Dog Walkers. When I first saw these, I was like, why would I get those? But the more I looked at them, the more I fell in love with them. You know, and I'm guessing the same with everybody else. <laughs> like, these things are fire. So fire. Look at that little doggy poo-poo bag. Got Nike SB written on it. The extra brown laces are in here. You know, stock X tag. So, I'm going to put this one up, actually, so you guys can actually see the full design of it. Now, this sneaker features a Dalmatian spotted side panel on the outside and the inside, as you can see right there, which is awesome. And uh, it's got the green, furry, kind of hairy suede, you know, all around here to represent grass, you know, because dogs and a little poo-poo bag, like I said. And then um, on the tongue, the nose panel, the uh, ankle collar, that's about it. Uh, there's brown, light brown, kind of golden brown, and black to represent different dog breeds. And on the bottom, you have a clear outsole with like a poop stain. And this one, it's right there. That uh, is kind of a nod to stepping in dog poop. <laughs> but the cool thing is, <clears throat> you know, besides that little hidden gem, you have this. A little dog tag with Sparky written on it. You got Nike SB and then you got Sparky. I wonder which member of the Nike SB team's dog is named Sparky. Um, there's... A hidden stash pocket on the inside of the tongue, just like every other 420 model. Well, not every one, but a lot of them. And on the inside of the tongue is a poop emoji. That's pretty cool. But the hidden detail of this is the insole. Uh, I'm going to try to find a picture of it because I'm not going to dig them out of these. But the insole has a picture of a bunch of different dogs on it. Well, all those dogs are the dogs from, you know, the owners of those dogs are the people from the Nike SB design team. Basically, the whole Nike SB team. So, that's really cool right there. It's like a little hidden Easter egg. And the final little detail is this red swoosh right here, which represents either a dog collar or a dog leash. Um... I would say collar just because of this dog tag hanging from it. But the leash that they gave away free was red as well. And it had Nike SB printed on it. So either or, you know, either or. Uh, the outsole or the midsole, I guess, besides having a little bit of dog poop on it, has heel and toe uh, Nike Zoom technology in it. Uh, which they put in all the skate shoes, and that helps, you know, skaters when they're like, uh, like ledge jumping and stuff like that. Uh, kind of helps out when they're on their board. Um, the one thing I don't understand is with all of these SBs that are so amazing, like if I was a pro skater, I would not wear them. I'd be like, yo, make me my own, like, little you know, like orange label box ones, like the white leather or the black suede or whatever else, I'll skate those. But these, like, I don't understand how people can skate them. I have three pairs of the uh, the Black Hornets. Check that video out. Um, and I haven't, like, I can't skate in them. You know, like, I saw tons of videos of people that rode for Nike, or that rode for uh, Black Sheep that were, you know, skating in them, but... Then again, I'm a shoe collector, so what do I know? If I didn't collect shoes, I'd probably tear them up. Now, a lot of these uh, sneakers, I guess if you picked them up from a skate shop, uh, they came with stickers. You know, you got two Nike uh, SB stickers and then a swoosh sticker, whatever else. That didn't come with the ones from um, the sneakers app, and mine didn't come with that, as you can tell. I love this little dangly bit on the back. This little dog tag. That's awesome. Um, and, you know, like I said, you got the free leash and everything. 
Now, it's really weird. There was, you know, before they ever dropped, there was a rumor that there was a special box. Just like every other Nike SB special release. There's a special box. Uh, well, for like the third time, the special box was a China-only release. Which kind of sucks, you know? Um, you didn't really get anything extra with it besides a 10, which the box was an actual 10. Uh, here's a picture of it. Um, the shoes came in that, and, you know, you just got the laces and everything else. But the 10 was cool, you know? It had, you know, Dog Walker on the front of it. It had Nike SB, and on the back it had, you know, some nutritional facts or something. I don't know. Um, and alongside these sneakers they released some apparel uh it was one t-shirt here's a picture of it with uh you know a few dogs above the pocket nike sb t-shirt and a pair of socks to go along with it i was gonna order the socks but I'm not a big fan of like high socks all my socks are like no show so you know i didn't cop those my homie terrell cop the t-shirt and the socks so I was going to get the shirt, but by the time I got to it, they only had like a large left, so I kind of missed out on that one. I'm not too worried about it, though, because it would be a little overkill to wear this kind of eccentric shoe with a shirt with dogs on it, and, you know, socks with Dalmatian and everything else on it. So for the last few years, it's kind of been, it hasn't been every year, it's been spaced out, you know, there's been clumps of years, they're kind of getting more into it as it's becoming legal, but um, Nike SB has done multiple uh, 420 releases, like this one, um, and there are some that are more coveted than others, uh, one in particular, well, two technically, but one in particular that's way more coveted, um, but we're going to get into that in just a minute. I got to get these on foot. So let's check them out on foot real quick. You wouldn't believe it. I stepped in dog poop, but at least I had a bag to pick it up. No, I'm just playing. Um, they're super comfortable, you know, uh, but to be honest with you, like in my opinion, it probably wouldn't have worked out too well. But this liner right here, the whole ankle cuff liner deal, uh, and the back of the tongue, in my opinion, they probably should have done like a leather, kind of like a lot of the other, like my, uh, my kith black ponies they have basically the same kind of hair you know the whole upper is black hair like this uh but when you put materials like this on a sneaker it kind of stiffens it up makes it a little bit harder to get on um 
and not to mention it's hot. So if you were to put like a soft leather in there, it'd make it easier for your foot to slide in and out. Might be a little bit more comfortable. Um, but that's just something to me. I'm not a shoe designer. They designed it for a reason like this. Um, but otherwise, you know, they're comfortable. They're true to size. Check that out again. Um, really not that much to complain about. It's your typical Nike SB high, but you got a little stash pocket in there. So, um, but with how they did the tongue, you know, they did the stash pocket kind of, I'll show you on this one. The stash pocket is right here. Kind of on the inside. All right. So the 420 releases, um, you know, I got last year's. Last year was the Nike SB Dunk Mid White Widow. That was 2018. Um, check that video out right here. And then in 2017, you had the Nike SB Dunk Low Intergalactic. I remember when this one dropped. I didn't specifically know it was 420. It wasn't really pushed for that, but it did drop around 420. Um it didn't really blow up at all. You know, I mean, right after that, people were buying them for less than retail or right around retail. You could still get it for right around retail. It had a patent leather kind of mixed upper uh, with the whole galaxy feel in it. I did love the way it looked, but at the time, I was just like, eh. You know, I might end up copping it just because I like that kind of feel. It's got the whole black magic uh, material feel on it where it's like sparkle and whatnot. I'll probably end up copying that. Um, in 2016, I'm not entirely sure if they released it or not. I know that there was a word of it releasing, but there was a hemp shoe that they released back in 2004 as like a pack. Um, but I think that they were going to release one in 2016 for 420. They might have done it like under the radar uh, where it was like your typical hemp colored upper. Uh, with like black leather swoosh on it, like little details like that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if that one released though. And uh, in 2015, um, this one was a little bit before 420, but it was still 420 themed. It was the uh, Nike SB Low uh, Blue Marble. Um, that one. People were questioning it. It had an acid, uh, an acid washed upper, um, made it look like a pair of jeans kind of eh, ish, but people were wondering like what influenced it. And, um, a lot of people were saying that it was influenced by the hippie backpacks, like the backpacks that hippies would wear back in the day. Um, but really, the true influence behind it was the clouds, quote-unquote, that you blow with 420. You know, stuff like that. Whatever. <laughs> uh, 2012 to 2014, didn't really see any specific 420 releases. Um, but then you had 2011, which was the second most coveted sneaker, 420-inspired sneaker to drop. It was the Cheech and Chong Nike SB Dunk High. That one is crazy. It, you know, you could look at it now and be like, eh, it's kind of plain, whatever. You know, it's like an all-white upper with uh, like a red bandana wrap right here. Um, and, you know, you would be true to say, yeah, it is kind of plain. But if you take an X-Acto knife and cut the white that was all right here. Uh, it showed this type of green suede underneath it. And a lot of people were like, oh, that's cool. You know, it's like the hidden, you know, like little, uh, I'm not going to say the word so I don't get, you know, hit with anything. Uh, 420 material. Um, but the true reason, like the hit little hidden Easter egg is the white bit that you cut off if you were to cut it off in one piece you could roll it so the outside of it was white and it had green suede on the inside of it as well so it looked like a rolled j you know pretty cool 
Like, really pretty cool. <laughs> you gotta give him credit for that one. Like, a lot of people were thinking. Like, they definitely had some cool stuff going on with that. Now, the 2010 number one most coveted 420 sneaker. The Nike SB Dunk High Skunk 420. Uh, this one... It was all basically this kind of suede, but in like three different tones of it, like three different colorways, uh, kind of mesh, mashed together. It was like three different tones of green and like a little bit of brown and stuff like that in it. Um, and it, the insoles had a picture of a skunk on it. So skunk is a form of, you know, 420 product party favor. Uh, so that one amazing you know that one wasn't technically the first but it was the first most coveted uh 420 dunk of its kind now it's going for like a grand right now so good luck <laughs> well i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to like subscribe leave a comment what do you think about these did you cop them uh were you able to get them for retail were you lucky enough or did you have to pay resell if so uh did you get hit like did you pay the 300 or 350 and then you know see it drop uh and were you able to get the special box or the leash or anything um definitely want to know so let me know in the comments below and stay tuned for some b-roll make sure to subscribe and notifications on and until next time, be safe. Hope you all have a good one. Peace.